Hello guys, welcome back and I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. So today we'll be continuing with our ongoing repertory exam revision series with our next topic which is the Gentry's repertory. Again a very important repertory which, are, which is frequently asked in the exams and it holds a very important place in the paper. So before we start the video, I would like to again give a short, a brief saying that we do not endorse any shortcuts to studies. These videos are, of course, as a you can be used as a helping aid in your preparations or before exams for your revisions, right? But don't make this your only whole and soul preparation. Always refer your textbooks before you start any studies. Always refer the textbooks, learn from them, and use these notes as a revision uh, series or revision aid. Because notes differs from people to people on how they make it. But I can least assure you that these notes are the bare minimum you can write in your exams. You can, you can always make it better through your experience, through your pattern. But this what we provide is the minimum which one should remember. Alright. So without much ado, let us begin. Gentry repertory. Full name of repertory. The concordance repertory of the more characteristic symptoms of the Materia Medica. Author Dr. William Gentry. Publication year with edition. First edition was published in 1890 and the second one in 1892. Introduction. This is the large concordance repertory of six volumes written by William D. Gentry, MD, where the second meaning of the word concordance is applicable. In this repertory, the symptoms are arranged in alphabetical order under each chapter. Around 420 remedies are dealt within the repertory. Six volume of the book contains 30 chapters. Gradations, it has only one grade. Plan and construction. Symptoms are arranged in alphabetical order under each chapter. The six volumes have the following arrangement of chapters. Volume 1 contains the mind and disposition. Second, head and scalp. Third, eyes. Fourth, ears. Fifth, nose. And sixth, face. Volume 2 contains the seventh, which is the mouth. Eighth, throat. Ninth, stomach. And tenth, hypochondria. Volume 3 contains as eleventh, abdomen. Twelfth, anus, septum and stool. 13. Urine and urinary organs and 14. Male sexual organs. The volume 4th includes 15 chapter uterus and appendages. 16th. Menstruation and discharges. 17th. Pregnancy and parturition. 18th. Lactation and mammary glands. Volume 5th contains 19th. Voice, larynx and trachea. 20th. Chest, lungs and bronchial, bronchia and cough. 21. Heart and circulation. 22. Chill and fever. 23. Skin and 24. Sleeps and dreams. The volume 6 finally contains 25th chapter, neck and back, 26th upper extremities, 27th lower extremities, 28th bones and limbs in general, 29th the nerves and 30th generalities and keynotes. The special features advantages include symptoms are given in their original form without much change. Symptoms arranged in alphabetical order under every chapter. The symptoms can be found easily which saves a lot of time. In the repertory, the author has tried to use the phraseology of Materia Medica without much change. It is a useful for reference to any needed symptoms. This advantage includes this repertory is not useful for the systematic repertorization of a case. Majority of rubrics consist only one remedy, hence cannot be used for repertorization. Source of book is not mentioned. Only one grade is given, which makes confusion. Not useful for a bedside prescription, as it contains six volumes. One who uses the book should have thorough knowledge of synonyms and one symptom can be referred to at many places. So this was the Gentry's repertory at a glance. Some important points which we need to remember. The chapter names, the year of publications with editions can come as an MCQ. Okay, so with this we end this video here and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye. And also please don't forget to like, share and subscribe this video to your friends and help us grow. Thank you very much.